Almost two years ago, Bohemia Interactive had a live stream. Most people expected an Armor 4 announcement. I quietly wished Daisy 2 would have been announced, or something similar. Instead, Bohemia announced what was the first step leading to Armor 4, Armor Reforger. It had people excited until they played and then it instantly went downhill. But now there's been a resurgence. Why is everyone playing it two years later? Join me on a trip into Armor Reforger tonight to find out. What is Armor Reforger? Reforger is Arma Cold War basically, but on the Infusion engine, which is Daisy's engine since around 2018, I believe. Uh, this is very, very, very early access two years ago. Bare bones, very bland, uh, but it was available with crossplay to the Xbox Series X and S, uh, which is honestly really cool. Uh, until a few years ago, I was an Xbox gamer as well. Uh, the more reach these games can get into console players is awesome. Uh, this release was to serve as a functioning creative platform, and that basically means here are a bunch of tools, servers, etc. Modders take control and build out your own maps, modes, servers. Help us with the game, please. Uh, people were excited, you know, popping 12k players on Steam that day. I uh, can't really measure Xbox. Uh, however, it quickly dropped to 3k the next week, and then, you know, a month after release, there were 500 players or less uh, active on the game on Steam. For over the next year, Reforger would never hit 1,000 players again until November of 2023. Uh, this started with the helicopter update in that November. Uh, multiple gear and weapons were added, a game master and prop updates, and then a big medical update recently. And it's held steady around 1,000 players until the end of March, where some big names started playing and bolstered the numbers. I leave for five minutes. <laughs> What twenty? This is a friendly command vehicle. Rock. Enemy appeared to my east. Holy bro, we just shot like six. In comes the Dark Goose servers, blasting on the scene and reforger and taking over. The servers were so busy that they started with two, and I think they ended up opening up between seven or eight servers at the time of writing this. I believe. At 128 player servers, the action was never very far away, and with the modern Eastern European battlefield, I instantly saw the draw. Fighting on a map that is based around an active warfront is pretty insane. The details of the map are also insane. Reforger really pushes this well-crafted map into a beautiful, beautiful map. Incredible skyboxes, insane sunsets, amazing weather, muddy trenches, grass physics, you name it, this map has it. The the technology advancements in the Infusion engine really speak for themselves while playing this. Joining into a Realism Milsim server with comrades on Xbox is something I dreamed of, so of course I had to check this out on PC, of course, though. And it is fun. Armor Reforger and the, the mods the Dark Gear team have put together really feel fantastic. The community, for the most part, is pretty good and will teach you the ropes when you first join up. Poor ass. Fuck you, you're the naked ass one right now. However, there are, you know, with any community, some rotten eggs that, that will whine and complain about your camo or your driving or the TK that will inevitably happen for a newbie in a realism server. But all I have to say is don't put on opposing factions gear. The Mons of Dark Group team has included feel great. Um, all the gear, you know, half of playing Milsim is military Barbie. So those needs are absolutely fulfilled in the server. Whether you're a Ruski or a NATO, you can look like a complete badass. The gun loadouts also feel great. They are pre-set up so you can basically grab what you need without having to fuss, get some mags, your gun set up. You know, the kit's super easy to get. The Dark Knights can set up some of the most intense firefights I've ever had in a war game. While the Darker team and everyone involved there have really made an awesome mod pack and an awesome server, 
uh, the folks at Bohemia have really done a fantastic job continuing development on Reforger. This Cold War era based game fits a modern war front, a Vietnam war front, and even has a DayZ bot. Uh, let me know if you want to see that. Uh, the details to realism feel better than ever, while making the game accessible to newbies to dig into the war of their choice. Uh, it isn't too taxing either, at least for you know my mid-level PC. Uh, you can get pretty good frames on a couple of the maps that I've played. Uh, I would imagine they have to be scaled down around the Xbox Series S, so it can't be too high fidelity. But man, the weather effects, the lighting, oh man, it just makes this game look so damn beautiful. I'm also not a milsim expert by any means, but I have spent a good amount of time playing Hell Let Loose and a little bit of time playing Squad. Uh, and this game gives me those Hell Let Loose vibes, the stress, the anger, the joy, the sadness. Uh, it is clunky, but not near the level of Squad. Uh, you can still fortify and do Lodgy runs as you can in the others, but it isn't so time consuming to leave you sleeping at the base once you're done. The gunplay is clean, the recoil feels very nice. I've only driven vehicles with four wheels, and while they could use a little bit of work here and there, they get the job done and they feel pretty good. Um, but being in the back of a transport heli as it's shot down, or even if the pilot just sucks and you lose a tail rotor, as you go crashing into the ground spinning in a circle is absolutely wild. Um, and, and that brings up the new the new ish medical system, which is I'm not sure exactly when it was updated, but just in the past couple months, where you have tourniquets, bandages, saline, epi, and morphine, you have a whole you have a whole routine to you know get your comrade back into battle. You have to check check for wounds. You put on the bandage. You have to do saline. Uh, do a tourniquet. You know, and, and then you do epi, and then you do morphine when they're back up for a painkiller. It's 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 really really nice how much detail went into creating that and in my experience you can be down for quite a while if you get shot up but if your comrade has these tools then you can live to fight another day um, sometimes your gun will fall through the map though that sucks so ask them to pick it up for you uh, looking back you know seven to eight years ago when I was in college on an Xbox I would have loved to have been able to play games like this uh, with so much detail and so much realism and thankfully now people can and play with PC players nonetheless the crossplay between PC and Xbox is awesome. I haven't played this on Xbox nor with a controller, but I've heard no complaints from the people who I have met that are playing on Xbox. My biggest complaints with the game aren't really with the game at all. They're more with what's around the game, like the the server connect. There are no queues, so you know you're in, you're spamming enter and escape until you either get in the server or you give up. So I hope that they can implement some kind of queue system in the future. Uh, my other big complaint is the inventory UI. This is more of a Bohemia complaint, but how have we not figured out how to make a more competent inventory UI in 2024? They've made such great games with Arma and DayZ, and yet both of them are very lackluster. DayZ can get away with it a little bit, but even it is better than the Arma inventory. If you have $30 to spare, Arma Reforger will definitely give you some good fun. Milsim is the hot game right now, and I'm sure you can find a server you like on this game. I highly recommend it as it's a good time. I don't know how long the trend will stay active, but if you can get in now, it's it's really fun. Uh, they, you know, Bohemia is very committed uh, to upgrading, uh, reforging, and adding content to it. So for $30, you will definitely get your investment back in enjoyment sooner or later. I know this isn't my normal survival game or, you know, stalker, but I figured I'd branch out and try to cover a game that I've been enjoying recently. Uh, more stalker videos are on the way. I'm also beginning a Metro playthrough. Hopefully I can finish that before stalker two comes out. If you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see, please let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, let me know down below. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, it's been a while since I've made some YouTube videos, but I'm trying to get back on the grind. Uh, I'm trying to get back into it. So I appreciate it. If you've watched the video this far, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It helps the channel grow. We're close to 400 subs. We're at 388, I think. Um, so hitting 400, 500, that would be awesome. Uh, thank you for joining me on this journey into Armory Forger. This has been Loner JB. Good night.